Hi, and welcome to the Newturner free diabetic video education program created by diabetics for diabetics. 15 videos covering the most important topics every diabetic or pre-diabetic should know on proper self-management. These videos are also helpful for friends, family and caregivers to help them understand the problems a diabetic goes through. Each video has a free workbook in ebook and PDF format. So just click the link on the screen now to download it. We highly recommend you download these to get the most out of the information. To view all 15 videos and 9 must-read free ebooks available, just subscribe and visit the Newturner channel now. Hi, and welcome back to the Naturna How to Fight Diabetes and Win educational program, your roadmap to success and a healthier and happier you. Last week, we looked at high blood sugar. So today, we will discuss low blood sugar. It is very important to understand the warning signs and complications of low blood sugar. So, what should you know? Well. When trying to control your blood sugar levels, you will, from time to time, experience low blood sugar. Low blood sugar occurs when there is too little glucose or too much glucose lowering medication, like insulin, in your blood, causing your blood sugar levels to fall below your target range. Mild low blood sugar is common for people with diabetes. Your doctor and members of your diabetes care team can help you make changes to your diabetes care plan to help you reduce the chances of low blood sugar. No matter how well you manage your diabetes, low blood sugar can happen. And because low blood sugar can happen quickly, you need to act immediately to treat it. Knowing the warning signs and how to treat low blood sugar will help you and those around you get your blood sugar back within target range that is safely and quickly. So what are the warning signs? Actually, there are many warning signs of low blood sugar, and your own signs may be different from those of someone else with low blood sugar. You need to learn your early warning signs and share them with others who can help you recognize them. When any of your warning signs occur, you need to treat your low blood sugar right away. If not treated, your low blood sugar can cause you to pass out. At worst, low blood sugar may cause seizures, coma, and even death. So. Here's a list of common warning signs, and as you can see, there are actually quite a few. Maybe you can relate to some of them. Please have a look at your workbook and share them with your friends and family so they can also be on the lookout for them. Angry, anxious, blurred vision, clammy, clumsy, confused, distracted, dizzy, drowsy, dry mouth, headache, hungry and impatient, also irritable, lightheaded, moody, nervous, uh, numb, pale, a pounding heart, restless, sad, uh, shaky, a uh, sick stomach, and sleepy, stubborn, sweaty, tense, tingly, tired or weak. So what causes low blood sugar? Well, some of the reasons that can cause low blood sugar are eating too few carbohydrates, delaying a meal or a snack, skipping a meal or a snack, exercising harder or longer than usual, taking too much insulin or too many diabetes pills, experiencing sickness, or drinking alcohol on an empty stomach. So now you know some of the warning signs and what they may cause. Let's look at treating low blood sugar. If you do have low blood sugar, you should follow this set of instructions. And remember, all this is in your workbook. So again, please share this with your friends, family, or caregivers. So, one, if you can, test your blood sugar if it is below your target range. Follow the instructions given in steps two and three. If you can't test it, follow the instructions given in steps two and four. Step two, eat or drink something within 10 to 15 grams of carbohydrates. Some food servings with about 15 grams of carbohydrates are a half to three quarters of a cup or four to six ounces 
of orange juice or one to two tablespoons of honey. I have a can or six ounces of regular soft drinks, not diet, two to four pieces of hard candy or four teaspoons of granulated sugar, five gumdrops or six half inch sugar cubes, two tablespoons of raisins or two doses of glucose gel, two glucose tablets. Dosage instructions are on the package. Also, please note that some healthcare professionals prefer the use of the glucose tablets to treat low blood sugar, since they are a measured dosage designed to keep your blood sugar from going too high following treatment. Also, do not eat cake or ice cream to treat your low blood sugar. These foods have fat that will slow down your body's ability to absorb sugar. If you need help determining what fast acting carbohydrates you should have on hand to treat your low blood sugar, talk to your doctor or a member of your diabetes care team. Three, wait 15 to 20 minutes and test again. If your blood sugar is still below your target range, repeat steps two and three. If you have repeated steps two and three and your blood sugar is still below target range, call your doctor or have someone take you to a hospital emergency room. You may need professional help to get your blood sugar back to your target range. Something else may be causing your blood sugar to be low. If your blood sugar is within target range, you may still feel the signs of low blood sugar, even after your blood sugar is back to normal. If your blood sugar level is within target range, Stop eating and or drinking the foods to raise your blood sugar and continue on to step four. Step four, if your next meal is more than one hour away, eat a small snack of carbohydrates and protein. You can try a slice of bread with reduced fat peanut butter or six crackers with low fat cheese. Next, let's look at when to contact your doctor or diabetes care team member. If you experience low blood sugar and any of the following is true, you should contact your doctor or a member of your diabetes care team. You are taking a new diabetes pill or insulin injection. You have had two or three low blood sugar levels in a row. You have had two or more low blood sugar levels within 24 hours. You have had low blood sugar levels at the same time for several days in a row. You have had to use the glucagon emergency kit only for people that take insulin injections. You are experiencing any other condition for which your doctor or diabetes care team member requests you contact them. I'd like you to pay special attention to this next part. Sometimes you will not be able to treat your low blood sugar yourself. Maybe you do not recognize your warning signs, or maybe low blood sugar has made you too confused to treat yourself. Whatever the reason, you must teach someone else ahead of time to help you. It is important to wear medical identification stating that you have diabetes so that others are aware and can better help you in an emergency in case you are unable to communicate. To treat your low blood sugar quickly, keep foods to prevent and treat low blood sugar on hand at all times. Place a small box of juice in your desk drawer at work or at school. Put glucose tablets or gel in your purse or coat pocket and in the glove compartment of your car. Telling others where you keep these emergency supplies will help you in treatment in case you are unable. If you take insulin, get a glucagon emergency kit. Your doctor can prescribe one. Glucagon is a hormone that is made in the pancreas. Glucagon makes the liver release stored sugar into the blood. A glucagon emergency kit comes with a syringe, glucagon powder, and instructions on how to use it. Keep the kit with you. Tell family, friends, and coworkers where you keep it. You and your doctor or members of your diabetes care team can teach them how to use it and when to call for emergency help if necessary. And remember, to avoid the dangerous effects of low blood sugar, you must be able to identify it and treat it. With the proper knowledge and tools, low blood sugar can be corrected quickly and effectively. I'd really advise you to watch high and low blood sugar videos again. Get your family and caregiver to also watch them and get to know the warning signs. They can be the difference between life and death. 
That's it for low blood sugar. But today, I'd also like to give you a few helpful tips on diet and exercise health. I hope you find it helpful. When it comes to type 2 diabetes, you need diet and exercise goals that encourage you to succeed, not ones that set you up to fail. I think goals have to be small and well spelled out for people. Everyone has to experience of being told something vague, like, you know, you really have to lose weight. What does that mean? Goals need to be broken down into small nuts and bolts. First step. See where you stand now. Stop and look at your eating and exercise habits and figure out what will be the easiest changes to make, rather than making huge changes that are tough to sustain. Diabetes is a marathon, not a sprint. For most people, it is easier to make changes one step at a time. Two, keep a record of your physical activity. Most people overestimate how much exercise they get. If you write it down, you have an honest appraisal of where you're starting. Three, bring your own lunch. Avoid eating lunch at restaurants or fast food joints. Restaurant meals can go out of control easily. They tend to have large portions, lots of calories, and high amounts of fat. Research has found an association between eating out more and having higher body weight. When you make your own lunch, you can control the ingredients and your portion sizes. If making your own lunch every day is too much, you might want to try twice a week to start out. Four, change your daily routine. Instead of stopping for a fat-filled latte on the way to work, have a cup of coffee with low-fat milk and a low-fat granola bar. Five, use a pedometer. These handy devices, available for less than $20 at sporting goods stores, Clip onto your waistband and record the number of steps you take. Use one to estimate how many steps you take on an average day. Then set a goal to slowly increase that number. Maybe you want to take 100 extra steps every day this week and add another 100 each day next week. Although many experts recommend going 10,000 steps a day for good health, feel free to set goals that work for you. Six, keep gum handy. Pop a piece of sugar-free gum, but not too many pieces. Some sugar-free gums contain sweeteners that can upset your stomach at high doses. Gum may uh, fix your need for a snack and leave you with a fresh minty taste that you won't want to ruin with a bang of sour cream and onion potato chips. 7. Try one new fruit or vegetable each week. With the variety available at a typical supermarket, this strategy could introduce you to new favorites for months. However, test your blood sugar after trying a new item, especially fruit, since some may have more dramatic effects on your blood sugar than others, and if they do, you may have to limit portion sizes accordingly. 8. Take home menus from your favorite restaurants. You can research the healthiest options on the menu when you're not rushed to make a decision. Decide what you want before you go into the restaurant and order ahead of your dining companions so you won't be tempted by their choices. And nine, serve home-cooked meals on smaller plates. Portions do matter. If you serve yourself less food, you tend to eat less than if you have a large plate with a large meal. There you have it. Nine simple tips to help you succeed. Well, that's it for today. I look forward to seeing you next week when we will discuss medication for diabetes. You will learn the two primary types of diabetes and the medication used to treat them, how to determine if your therapy is effectively controlling your diabetes. You will learn the six classes of oral medication, how they work, and the side effects. You will learn about combination therapies and how they can help improve your blood sugar control. You will also learn about insulin the types of insulin, their initial peak and total action times, and when to check your blood sugar, and your 14 insulin guidelines. And remember to stay positive and just get started. I hope you enjoyed that video. But I'd also like you to remember 
that if you have a blood sugar problem, a weight management problem, low energy problem, or any of the other problem diabetic symptoms, Nuturna has a product created by diabetics for diabetics to help you. The powerful strength diabetic support, formulated with 28 natural ingredients that will support you in seven ways. Promote normal blood sugar, promote healthy weight loss, reduce absorption of sugars and carbohydrates, promote healthy insulin sensitivity and glucose tolerance, promote heart, blood vessel and nerve function health, a powerful antioxidant and immune booster, promote healthy energy. It also saves you money. Why buy three or four supplements when you can get it all in one super supplement? Nuturna is highly bioavailable, in capsule form, easy to swallow and more importantly, more readily available for your body. To find out more about how it can help you, just click the link on the screen now. You'll be glad you did.